Good morning, it's day 92. Uh, we just left the Eagle's Nest shelter, which allegedly had one of the only good water sources between 501 and Port Clinton. How long that a good water source is a stretch, but there was water there, which therefore at this point makes a good water source. And it's rocky as hell this morning. It's rooty as hell this morning. And I'm back with the family. Fan faves here. And everyone else is behind us getting out of camp. We're heading into Port Clinton and Hamburg today. Quick resupply. And then we're heading back out and back on trail. So that's the hill we just came down descending into Port Clinton. And it was pretty terrible. Guys did better than I did. All right, so we're in Hamburg, PA right now. Uh, we're actually in Duncan. I'm very excited for Duncan on the trail. And uh, resupplied to get to Delaware Water Gap. We have a slight problem potentially because apparently Wind Gap has a wildfire near it, which is about 40 miles up from us. And I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do something. We're gonna figure this out. Good morning, it's day 93 on my through hike. I stayed at Windsor Furnace Shelter last night and spent way too long in town resupplying and eating yesterday, but I got to go to the world's largest Cabela's, which was an experience. Um, I got a pair of new lightweight darn tough socks because my feet have been incredibly sweaty lately. And yeah, I'm actually doing a 20 mile day today to the Lookout Hostel. And from there, I'm hoping to get a shuttle driver to slack pack me for the next section because it's the section over Lehigh Gap, which is an infamously tough climb on trail. And it's also a 14 mile stretch without water on trail. And I, I don't feel good about the water sources off trail right now either. Good morning, it's day 94, just left the lookout hostel. The air quality index is 178 today because of wildfire from Quebec. And it's gonna be a rough day. We're doing 14, but still gonna suck. Okay. Welcome to the knife's edge. I think this one's worse than the one on Katahdin. Good morning, it's day 95 of the through hike. Air quality has not improved. Air quality has in fact gotten worse. The sun is red. Um, we're doing 17 miles today. There's not really water on this. My friend Greg is coming to do trail magic and give us water though. And yeah, we got one big climb today that's going up Lehigh Gap, which is sort of an infamous climb on trail. And fan fave anything to add? Yeah. We slept like shit. Let's get this done. Yeah, this is a, that's where I went up right there. Look at that nice look for him. Thank you. I absolutely hated that. So we just got trail magic from my friends Giazzo and Greg. And one of the things they brought for us because of the wildfire smoke was masks. So we now have masks that do a pretty decent job of filtering out fine particulate matter, AKA wildfire smoke. And I'd forgotten how hard it is to hike an actual mask, but at the same time, my lungs don't feel like they're on fire. So I'm not gonna complain. <laughs>
good morning. I don't even know or care what day it is today because I am 16.6 miles from Delaware Water Gap. And technically, because of logistics reasons, uh, we're not actually gonna cross the PA and J border until tomorrow. But I think I'm gonna get there before the tram leaves. So I am gonna go, I'm gonna go run across the bridge and tag New Jersey. And then I'm gonna go home for the night. We're gonna eat some good food. I'm gonna sleep in my own bed. And then starting tomorrow, I am back on my turf. So I know the New Jersey sections of the trail and I get to hike them again. And I'm so excited because I, I am sick of Pennsylvania and I missed home. So in addition to dealing with the wildfire smoke that's coming in from Quebec right now, Wind Gap actually recently had a wildfire and you can see, and I can smell the recent burn right here. And as you can see, the trail was used as a fire break, so the fire break worked. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a nasty smell. Two over there as well. It's too far inland. That's not like catching the normal tadpole. <laughs> Good morning, it's day 97 I think and my through hike might be day 98 and I am at home right now because I spent the night at home. I'm gonna slack pack today and going to probably do that for another day maybe. We'll see, don't know what's going on. But I've got the dog and I'm very happy about that. I've never seen anything here. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I do it all the time. Pumpernickel. Any idea what the farms are? The aqua farm down there? So, update. The road that my dad was going to pick us up at slash drop stuff off at for the slack pack is closed. Um, I guess Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area. I do genuinely love you guys, but it means we're walking an extra 1.4 just down to get the stuff and then 1.4 up. And I feel so bad for this crew because they don't deserve this. And I should have looked at regulations closer because I thought that it was like, oh, 2022 is closed. Maybe it won't be closed for 2023. Nope. Still closed on the weekends. Good morning. It's day 98 of my through hike. I am blue blazing black back up to Crater Lake, which is about where we got off yesterday because... Uh, the road was not open on the weekends. Thank you, Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area. And yeah, I think I'm on the right trail. I've actually never been to this area of um, trail systems before, so I don't know what I'm doing. But the Appalachian Trail is up. Worst comes to worst, I climb up. And we're back on the AT after like two miles of blue blazing. If they did, I'm gonna be so mad. And fingers crossed, we're going to get trail magic. So fan fave, how was that trail magic? Oh, it was so wonderful. Uh, we were just in and out real quickly because it didn't exist. Take down your signs, people, please. 
you disappoint through hikers otherwise. Actually, no, we are not entitled to trail magic. Take down your signs because they're litter when they're not attended.